have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Video series RWG OSD Oversized Delta. This sounds too loud. All right, so just so everybody knows, yes, there are a few videos in this series that are a bit slow. If you really want some detail and you want to see, you know, what I'm thinking before I start, and then as I build, there's going to be very few, but occasionally there'll be a video such as this where I'm just thinking. That is all I'm doing. I'm showing you what I'm thinking about. I'm showing you how I want to proceed. I'm thinking about the options, and I want you guys to see that. It's important to see that as we go. So, for those of you looking for machining, cutting, and welding, etc., not in this video. However, the next video will be fun for you. Alright, just keep that in mind. Also, yes, I did draw this entire thing up in Google SketchUp, and it works really well, and it's really cool, and I will release that at the end of the build, but not till it's complete. That way, everybody has the same information at once, because uh, I may change something along the way. Alright, let's get going. Also, there's a little snippet at the end of this video. I normally won't do this, but occasionally there'll be a little fun. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Russ with RWGresearch.com. My wife was telling me earlier exactly what I was going to say, and it was going to be just like that. She said she's heard it so often, yet she doesn't really watch my videos. So therefore, you guys have heard it a hundred times more. Anyway, besides the point, so the more and more I sit here and I think about what I've done to myself, I just want to make sure everything's going to work out correctly. So looking at this entire thing, trying to determine what I want. I can go for two things here. I can go for diameter, or I can go for height, or I can go for a combination of both. Um, and what I mean by that is, depending on how I make the arms and how I set up the end effector, it will completely change the outcome of the distance versus the height. Because what you got to remember is, is if the arm is sticking out, if, it's, if the arm is sticking out this far, and it comes down, and it, I have to reach all the way to this side of the build plate, it literally needs to be this big, which is like, which is like 17 inches. Yeah, you could say 16 if you use this end effector to get to the edge, the, at the outside, the furthest point. So that means when it, that's to get, because you got to remember, this arm is going to be straight out, and these are going to be at an angle. So when you come up here, if you were to think about it, this means that you're really only going to have wherever the maximum point is, which if, let's just say it was here, then that's approximately 16 inches in height. Um, and then the other thing is, is if you wanted to come up higher, so you wanted to make this shorter, let's say if it was only a foot, and then this is your point, then you'd actually gain, like now, now you're all the way up to 21 inches, you gain four inches there, no, five inches. Um, but when you come down here, you can only reach this far. And so you have to think about what you want. Um, I thought about making the end effector bigger, so smaller, bigger. Um, let me get a little bit closer here so I can sort of show you what I'm looking at. You can help me think through it. All right, first of all, I apologize for the awful lighting. Um, so after thinking about this for a while, I made this circle. But in reality, I think what I'll do is I'll try to keep the bed inside of this frame. That way, if I do move it around, I don't have to worry about the bed sticking out like this. And so what I've done is I've drawn these edges on here. And then I thought to myself, well, if I cut this edge off and I cut the back side off, or the point, the one that's closest to here, then that means these don't have to be quite as far, which also works out better for height. Um, 
Honestly, I would probably prefer being able to print things bigger than taller. I don't print things that tall. I'm already going to gain like three inches no matter what I do in height. Even at the worst case scenario, I can easily gain three inches. I can almost gain five inches if I do this right, or four inches actually, compared to my original rouse talk. So the problem is, is if you look here, you have to remember two things. One, wherever, wherever this arm is, you can only bring the end effector perfectly vertical. If you go past vertical, I don't think the algorithms work correctly anymore in the software. So you can only bring it as high as vertical. Um, and then the same thing when you're talking about distance this way, you can only bring it like parallel here, flat. So I was thinking about this. If I made everything exactly proportionally bigger to my original one, um, height with here and height there, and also the end effector actually needs to also go up. So it would end up looking something like this piece, which is hard to see on this uh, on this cardboard. I apologize, but that would make everything proportional. So if I gain this much here, I gain this much here. And what that would do is if my center point is right here, it's hard to see, but there's a little hole there. And the center point is there, and I wanted to reach the edge of the bed with my hot end to get to that maximum point. Then if I, if I gain if I gain two inches here, which is what I've got, I've only got about an inch and a half. If I gain an inch and a half here, um, that means I lose an inch and a half here, right? So if I were to want to make this round and get to the end of the round, um, I'm, I'm too far back. Um, so if I cut the edge here and make this a uh, octagon, then I sort of max out right here on the back side and then that also saves me here. So if I were to do that this arm would be about 13 and a half inches. So if we just guesstimate up here in the top it's out of the shot but if we guesstimate uh, there we go if we guesstimate 13 and a half inches here uh, then we get about and we'll say 18, it's really 19, but we'll say 18 inches in height. 18 inches in height is a lot. And then our distance from here to here is about 14 inches octagonal. And then from point to point, 16. Um, currently, I can literally only print like six and a half inches. So again, I'm gaining like quite a lot on either side. It doesn't really matter what I do but I do have to really critically think about what I want. Do I want to be able to get bigger on the bed or do I, do I want to be able to build taller? Because what I can do to build taller is move these in pretty far and then, you know, then to, to reach to maximum potential I actually gain about two and a half inches, which is a lot. But then I lose two and a half inches basically. So anyway, these are the dilemmas, something to think about. Okay, well, there you go. Um, it's not quite as easy as you think because I'm literally building this printer from scratch. I am going to redesign pretty well everything on this entire system will be redesigned. The end effector will be a little different. The rail holders will be much, much different because I am going to use these rails as my actual bearing um, slide. This will be my slide. Um, I'm not going to go into depth with how I'm going to do the bearings, but it's going to be some type of three-point system. I do not, like I said, I do not want things to stick outside this frame. So however I get them to work here, I want them to try to be inside this frame. Um, that's my goal. I am more than happy for you guys to tell me comments, give me some of your opinions, but I think if I just make everything proportionally bigger according to what I have, 
uh, for instance, I have basically the maximum space I have over there right now is about two foot between the build plate and the top of the frame. So I actually gain uh, about eight inches, eight to nine inches I could potentially gain in height. Um, but then you have to remember I got to make that up because of my distance here. So anyway, um, yeah, the slide rules will be all different. I'm actually really, really thinking about putting all the electronics on top. But then I have a mess of cords to deal with occasionally. Um, so we'll see. We'll see where we go next. I honestly have no idea. But this is my little update for you guys, just looking at this idea here and thinking about the potential things I could do with distances and heights and lengths. But I really got to think about this and make sure uh, I make the right choices because once I start putting it together and getting my rod arms the right length and stuff, I'm not going to really be able to just change them out because I'm going to affix things to where they will last for a lot longer of time. Uh, also, some of you guys were wondering why I don't make some of these parts out of aluminum and such. Uh, well, actually, in the near future, I'll have the capability to do lost PL PLA casting. And I'll probably end up casting these out of aluminum. But prototyping and making sure it's going to work first is ideal. So we'll prototype with plastic. We'll get it all up and running, make sure it works. And then whenever I get the uh, proper equipment, which is coming to the lab, then I'll be able to cast aluminum. So there you go. Peace and love, everybody. Have a good day. See you. For a second. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, what was I thinking? I was thinking, maybe, if I build it big enough, yeah, look, if I build it big enough, maybe I could actually print babies. Look, can you stand? Look at you. Oh, oh you can stand. Look, I haven't really tried to make you stand yet. I could almost print a baby. What was I thinking? You want me to print a baby? Look at you. No. Yeah. Just remember this moment when you could fit completely inside the 3D printer. Okay. Okay. Ready to go eat? Back to your mom. Print a baby. You want to print a baby? You want to just make one? Yeah, we're just going to go make some. We don't need to print no nothing.